Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. This is the Bitcoin stream recap uh, because tonight the topics were all about Bitcoin. Um, there was a Bitcoin whale that moved $898 million, but we actually know who that is. It's actually two exchanges. Um, Bitstamp moved $898 million worth of Bitcoin to Coinbase's custody wallet, which means most likely there are some big buyers at Coinbase that bought OTC 898 million Bitcoin. Uh, that's And that's why it went into Coinbase's custody wallet. Um, so I'm guessing a lot of the whales are trying to accumulate Bitcoin. Hopefully that means we're going to have a run soon, but we've had these accumulations before that didn't result in runs. So I'm hoping that since someone bought like almost a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin or a couple of people, that Bitcoin is accumulating right now and it will run sooner or later but there was a 900 million dollar movement from bitstamp to coinbase custody wallet the second thing we want to mention for bitcoin is there was a gold coin that actually launched in a bitcoin side chain so um it's called so digital asset manager coin shares is putting gold on a bitcoin blockchain um they're providing with they're working with wallet provider blockchain and a precious metal trader MKS Switzerland um, and the UK firm announced Tuesday that a gold backed network of trading tokens representing digitalized physical gold what has been two years in the making and it's actually all these coins are going to be backed by physical gold each coin is going to be worth one tenth one tenth of an ounce of gold or roughly I think like 160 bucks or something like that depending on how much gold is right now. So CoinShares chairman Danny Masters said the product's network security is based on the Bitcoin state, with DGLD operating as a side chain of the Bitcoin network. DGLD combines the stability of the world's most enduring asset, gold, with the security of the world's, world's most resilient network, Bitcoin. Built on blockchain firm CommerceBlock's Ocean sidechain platform, the DGLD network is notable in that it combines financial security, the Bitcoin network's immutability, and Swiss vault storage, while still facilitating low friction trading, said Masters. Coin, um, and then CoinShare says the product is available for both retail and institutional investors and will be available in over 200 countries on the exchange PIT. So they are tokenizing gold with Bitcoin uh, on a side chain. And um, they, each coin is actually backed by one tenth of an ounce of gold. So that's pretty exciting for those of you who want an easy way to transport gold by tokenization. Um, uh, Thiel has also backed $200 million valuation for a renewable Bitcoin mine. Now, the strategy behind this Bitcoin mine is different. Um, most, Bitcoin, mis most Bitcoin mining is just who can deploy the most capital. But they're actually doing um, kind of optimization to optimize how much energy they would have to have. And this one is not in China. This Bitcoin farm is going to be sprung up in western Texas. So they're going to use a lot of wind and probably solar energy. So they're going the renewable route for energy, which is good for the environment. Um, Peter, Thiel has, and Peter Thiel definitely has invested a lot into this. And the company is raising a total of $50 million at a $200 million valuation. So they actually believe that Bitcoin is the only thing that they believe in, which I don't agree with, but they think it has a chance of disrupting the financial system, but it's the only thing they actually believe in. So the company is vertically integrated and it plans to own Bitcoin mining facilities in the United States using mining rigs that the company designed and built in-house and running on its own power and procurement. And uh, they actually own a lot of the electricity substations. They don't own a power plant yet, but they actually plan to. They see the last seven years of mining as mining 1.0. And um, now they're doing more like strategic mining. They're going to manufacture their own ASEC chips. And they want to up the mining percentage of the United States from 5 to at least 15%. So it's very, very ambitious. But renewable mining is something that's going to have to happen if Bitcoin is actually going to survive. Because otherwise it just costs um, so much on the environment to actually mine Bitcoin. So they want to triple the capacity of the entire United States. Um, hopefully they can do it. And they're expecting gigawatts by 2021. So that is the Bitcoin mining news. So that is the wrap up for today. Let me know uh, what you think in the comments. Thank you. Have a nice day. And uh, hit that like and subscribe button, folks.